everybody, this is Joe Joseph, and this is the DailySheeple.com's news shot. Well, according to activist posts, Google is kicking off a $100 million project in predictive medicine. And it's seeking 10,000 volunteers for an invasive screening process. Listen to this. It says predictive medicine or, predictive, or precision health, as it's sometimes known, is a trend in healthcare that's growing exponentially. Perhaps the greatest indication to date that this is slated to be the future of disease prevention and patient care is a massive new investment investment by the, technic, the, the technological behemoths and the king of the algorithm, Google. Now, before I go on, I can tell you that hospitals across the United States that I'm aware of already have a level of technology like this. They already have a way to take the, uh, say you take a blood sample and in that blood sample, you're testing for certain things to kind of figure out or narrow down a symptomology for a problem, right? You're taking all the symptoms, you're going to try and collect evidence. And then based on that evidence and the symptomology, you'd have a diagnosis. And that's the way doctors have always done it. Now, all they got to do is take a blood sample take the results, put it into a computer, and the computer will spit out a diagnosis, like on the spot, instantaneously. And in a way, I, I guess it's a great tool to have, you know, maybe you can cut down on, on uh, mishaps or misdiagnoses, or maybe you can have the exact opposite effect, knowing full well that each human being is not built the same. I mean, yeah, we have commonalities between us all but we're all different we're all different we all have different gene mutations we all have different characteristics and traits that make us unique a lot of that has to do with the health side as well things that we're born with you know background there's too much detail that needs to be there that can't be fed into a computer like that all the way you know it's, it's it's just kind of I would say arduous for the, the doctor to be, have to put your life history in there and everything else. And that would also assume that you know your life history or perhaps you know um, your family history when some people just don't know. That's why it's hard to give this up to a computer. But at the same time, looking at the uh, condition of the state of medicine and the doctor's skills and the fact that it's deteriorating rapidly, it makes you wonder if, you know, our backs are against the wall and this is the alternative. Because they've basically ruined the healthcare system with the start of HMOs in the in the 70s and then onwards and upwards. The industry, you know, the medical industrial complex, <clears throat> big pharma, have totally destroyed the medical industry. And because we become so pill crazy and pill happy, they're easy to just, you know, uh, Treat the symptom instead of cure the problem or fix the problem because there's no money in cures. So is this what we have left or the only way that we might get maybe a remote chance to, to fix the problem or does this just exasperate things? I don't know. But Google thinks it's that important that it's putting $100 million of its research money, which of course is a drop in the bucket to, to Google and trying to get 10,000 volunteers to give very invasive uh, interviews with the idea of getting AI to be able to diagnose you. Very interesting. Check it out. Links below in the box. I'm Joe Joseph. This is the DailySheeple.com's News Shot. Subscribe to this YouTube channel today and our newsletter over at the DailySheeple.com. Have a great day, everybody.